Hey guys, welcome to One Gauge's first video series where we'll walk you through preparing, purchasing, and installing a totally custom digital gauge setup for your vehicle. In part three, we'll show you the basics of installation and demonstrate how the system works so you know exactly what to expect from a One Gauge setup. Now comes the fun part when we actually get to do the installation. So there's a number of things that I recommend that you have on hand as you prepare to install it. Really it's just basic electrical tools. You probably want a multimeter, um, some good, a good crimping tool would be handy. Of course. And then it may be a heat gun if you're going to use some shrink wrap or some of the uh, the heat solder connections that I'm going to be using in this case. You can also just crimp or solder your connections, whatever works best for you. Um, those tools are your typical electrical stuff. Uh, that's really about all you need. I've got my list of um, connections. So in this case, I'm going to be tapping into a lot of the cluster wires that are stock for the vehicle. So I can use some of the stock sensors as well as some of the indicators like turn signal um, the check engine light, things like that. So um, I'm go basically going to be um, cutting those wires, but leaving enough room so that in the future, if the, if the future owner wants to switch back to a stock cluster, they can do it pretty easily. Um, I think we have power now and we should be good to go to at least test the unit and make sure that it powers up correctly. Right now I've got it wired to, to constant power on and then I can just use my switch here to flip it on. All right, so we got power. So we're not going to have correct readings yet on anything. I don't have anything plugged in yet, but um, we do have a voltage reading of 12.3 volts. So that, uh, that should be correct. And then uh, I'm going to start testing out some of the other sensors and wiring them up and, and see what kind of results we get. The time has come to test the setup. So I've got everything wired up. Um, it, overall, it was a pretty straightforward process. It was, it was really just running each of the wires from the dash um, over to the one gauge. Of course, I'm gonna clean all this wiring up. It's a bit of a rat's nest right now, but the plan is to route all the wiring um, behind the dash and clean it up some. And of course, then once I know the correct lengths, I can shorten all the wires so there's not so much extra. So I can click on the unit. Everything looks to be working like it should. One thing that I have noticed, I seem to have a bad temperature sensor. Um, the stock one seemed to work okay with the old gauge, but with this new one, it's, it's not reading within the range that it's supposed to. Uh, obviously here it's reading very hot. It's only about um, 70 to 80 degrees 
So that's something that I'll have to fix in the future. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, of course, once I take it out for a drive and see if it uh, maybe reads correctly once it gets up to uh, temperature. But in the meantime, I'm just going to uh, give it a test. oil pressure reading. A lot of the other sensors aren't hooked up. But yeah, the tachometer is reading about 1200, which may be a little high. It's hard to tell. Voltage is, is definitely low. I should have more than 11.9 volts. So that's something I'm going to have to check on. Um, it could be that I've kind of run the battery down as I've tested it, so it may just need to be charged up, but it should be reading more like 13 or 14 volts. So I'm gonna need to check and make sure the alternator is working correctly. Otherwise, otherwise everything seems to be working pretty well. I can change some screens, take a look at it on some other screens. So here we've got a larger tachometer. things I need to fix. My parking brake indicator is a little too large. So just some design things that I'm going to be changing. Uh, but overall everything is, is seems to be working really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, I just need to reroute all the wiring, get that all working, and then uh, I should be good to go. Well that's the end of this video. In the next video, we'll finish out the install and we'll give you a driving demo and walkthrough of the gauges themselves. If you have any questions or want to speak with us directly, please email us at info at theonegauge.com or feel free to visit our website, theonegauge.com or facebook.com slash onegauge. Thanks again for watching.